I'm not just going to talk about my pregnancy. I also want to talk about my personal struggles with my love life. You may want to grab some tissues, a glass of wine, and some snacks. <sighs> I'll do my best not to cry while I'm telling you my story. I have taken notes. That's why I'm looking on the side. I'm on this side. So I don't go everywhere and I can just stay in one place with you guys. So bear with me. But first, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe if you have not. And follow us on Instagram. Then click on the bell button to get notification on our future videos. You don't want to miss that. We're having more fun videos coming up. So please stay tuned for that. symptoms I have few thoughts of thought it was symptoms never thought it was pregnancy symptoms to me it was just period symptoms so period is coming so I just put that aside I didn't think I would be I was wrong I never thought anything of it because the last time I thought I was pregnant it wasn't was five days late my period came I kind of figured it out that why worry about it if I'm pregnant eventually it's gonna pop something would happen which normally with my two pregnancy I didn't have any symptoms in my first two weeks waiting period. It just happened that I knew that I was pregnant exactly two weeks, exactly before my period comes or exactly before my, with one day late. This time I was one day late. Normally I didn't bother, but something was off. I just feel very, very off. The reason I was feeling off too, because I just had breaking up with my boyfriend. That's the beginning of the story. So I went to the dollar store because I figured I'll buy something that I know I'm not going to be pregnant because it's just not gonna happen for me, not that I wanted. Here I am at the dollar store buying $1 cheap test. I bought two just in case. I took the test and it was, you can guess, positive. I don't know if you can see that. So I also heard that if you take your test in the morning, your first pee, read it better, you know, the faster it will come and then the darker the colors will get. So I figured, well, it's a cheap test, it's probably wrong, it's probably not working. Cheap things don't work so well, <laughs> at least that's what I thought. That evening, I went to a graduation party and that was my first symptoms that I, you know, that I felt because I took that test, that I was actually paying attention. A huge hot weight came to me and I was standing in the kitchen. The kitchen was small. A lot of people in there. I mean, there was a lot of people around, but it was more people than you could imagine fit in that tiny little kitchen. So I was really, really hot. I went outside of the kitchen. There's steps right there on my left side and the door, the front door was right there and it was right open. So I stayed between the stairs and the big door because I didn't want to stand literally in front of the door because people were coming in so I, I stayed in right there next to the step and the huge nice breeze was coming in and it feels so good. I didn't move at all that evening. I just stood there. Oh, I sit there and I stand up and I have few people talking to me. This guy was hitting on me and I go, well, thank you too late guy. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> he looked at me. He said, what? I just, you know, trying to shove him away because I didn't want to do with with that right now and I didn't want to explain anything so the faster way to get rid of someone is to tell them the truth and see how they do so the next day I decided to take the test in the morning and again test here we go I don't know if you can see that I'm terrible at this oh there it is maybe we can close anyways you get the jizz it's a little darker the line I didn't believe it no nope 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 cheap test nope doesn't doesn't help <laughs> That day, I had a brunch at my parents' house. Family from all over the world, I should say, was coming in and having brunch all together. Well, it turns out that my mom was making my favorite dish, which I like eggs, I love shrimp, and I love garlic sauce. Oh, if you know anything about garlic sauce, girl, please. Oh, man, please. <laughs> Whoever you watch me. So, she combined them together for breakfast. And the moment that she started that, I was goosey. Ugh. It's like 
be step cooking. Don't put that thing in front of me, please. Don't! <laughs> of course, she did ignore that. So she made that and she gave me a plate with um, hash brown that she also made and some toast. Really, really nice, beautiful breakfast. I mean, beautiful brunch. It actually was breakfast for me because I didn't want to eat. It was a beautiful dish. The worst part of it, she sat next to me. Yes, next to me. Literally, I mean, the whole table was full of people, but she sat next to me. And I think she knew something was up because my face, I think I know how to lie or I think I know how to cover certain things. Unfortunately, I'm not good at covering things. Um, you can see if I'm upset or not. You can tell if something is bothering me. I was trying so hard to hide it, I just said. So she sat next to me and I, me with loving my mom as she is and what she does, I ate that thing like there was no tomorrow. I ate it like a pro. Even though I was hated at the smell, I couldn't swallow it, so I ate it really, really slow. And I think I took about maybe five bites before I said, okay, I'm done, thank you. So she asked me how was it. It was good, what, what you can say. I mean, I, I, at that moment, I wasn't ready to tell my family. I wasn't ready to tell that. By the way, my boyfriend broke up with me. By the way, he left me pregnant. And by the way, he never wants to hear from me again. And, 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 and then some more and more stuff. So I didn't want them to deal with that. It was not the right time, not the right place. That's the beginning of my story. So continuing days, I decided to get another test. So I decided to get something stronger and I went and got this. Okay. Which the first test I took was on Friday. Then the second test I took was on Saturday. And the third test I took was on Monday. I was at work when I took that test. Anyways, when I was at work, I, I couldn't do a lot. Nobody knows that I was pregnant, but when I say a lot, to pull over somebody, I was working nursing care. I was a GNA, so I took care of seniors. If you know what GNA is, please look it up. Like a nursing system, you assist in seniors, and you're doing more than just assistance. And it was really, really hard. When I say hard, I couldn't breathe, so I have to wear a mask. And I end up wearing a mask, not to be rude, it's just because if I don't wear a mask, whatever they did, throw up and then make them feel worse, or it just wasn't right. So I put a mask on and I had some mint gum, so I, whatever smell was coming, I can smell my mint, my own breath, instead of whatever else was in there. And that was really, really hard. And the worst part is when people don't show up for work, everybody else is short. So more work for people, whoever is there. If people don't show up for work, I have loads. More work for me, more residents for me. I don't complain, I just do what I have to do because if you don't like it, leave. Leave your job, stop complaining. You decide to do this job, do it and do it right. But it's really, really hard when every day someone's always calls out, really hard. I appreciate every time I have my job. I loved it, I'm not gonna lie. The only thing I don't like it is just when we're short on people. And that was almost every day. 11 weeks, I lost weight because I couldn't eat. I wasn't hungry, my breast was hurting, my legs was hurting peeing a lot, crying every night. Why this happened to me? Why this happens to anybody? So I wasn't ready to tell my fam family yet. I wanted to go to the doctors and confirm that I was expecting. So I told him before I get to that, let me explain his side of the story. Not so much. I'm not going to try and bring him down or feel sorry or for what he did. You know, everybody has their own story. Let me tell you my story and let me explain his side of the story. And he can tell you his way, but he will never will because he's not here. Now I'm sure he would never want to explain that part of his life. The reason he broke out with me was because he was leaving to another state. His mom was sick, so he wanted to be with his mother because she was sick. And I understood that. That's why he broke out with me. So he can move because he can't focus on a girl friend in another state and his mom who was very ill so he made a choice and he made the right choice was i mad i wasn't mad i was hurt uh but i understood why he had to do what he had to do you know one thing that person has to do if it was me i would do the same so choose my mom over and over again so yeah i definitely understood him so when i told him that the news that i was suspecting before he left he said that he was going to stay i misunderstood he was going to stay with me helping me with this that <laughs> yeah how wrong was i whoa didn't see that coming slapped me right in my face yeah 
that's how um, it all started he went to my first appointment to make sure that I was expected he saw the baby through the monitor I didn't take any pictures they give me pictures but the pictures were text and I, they were beautiful I, actually I only have one picture and that's gonna go on my next video phase two so please stay tuned for that so doctor told me I was nine weeks even though I thought I was eight weeks but between May 12 and May 13 Mother's Day it was like the best present ever he wasn't happy of course he didn't want the baby um, he said that I already made a decision by keeping the baby made a decision to keep the baby without discussing it with him I mean did I have to discuss that with him if I wanted the baby or not? I think it's a woman's decision to decide that. It's not a man's decision. It's the woman's decision. That's what I believe. If you disagree, please do disagree. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Because it's your body. You allow this to happen to you. And it's the baby. It's the baby. You can feel the heartbeat. Once I felt that heartbeat, that is all my baby mine yeah i will share it it's a baby it's a life doesn't have two legs doesn't have two hands doesn't have two feet doesn't have two eyes yet but it has a heartbeat and its brain it's there and i didn't care what he wanted because he already decided what he wanted to do you know he already made his decision that was okay with me and i was okay to i was okay to um uh, accept that you know i had to accept it because i had no other choice but to accept for what he did so I um I didn't hear from him for a while. He did what he did, even though he said he'll stay. But anyways, I didn't want to tell because he needed to go. He needed to be with his mother. His mother needed him and he needed her. And so I didn't want him to know. Was that right to tell him? You know, should I just let him go and not tell him anything and he'll have a baby somewhere I never knew about? He will know because my friend, which is my best friend, her boyfriend's still there and they still talk. So he wouldn't know. And I felt like he had the right to know. Was it a bad call? Was it? I, I don't know. I'm not the judge to call. But I believe that he needed to know. So I told him and he made a decision to stay he was ready to go but he wanted to stay I'm not so sure why he stayed because he didn't do anything when he stayed he really did not I find out through a friend whose her boyfriend is his friend of course he told her um, her boyfriend told her about what happened so she told me that his mom has passed away I really called him once I found out I apologize and I'm so sad I'm sorry that you weren't there when she passed that she's in a better place he didn't ask me about anything. He just said okay and then he just said bye. He just said bye. So yeah, we hung up and I haven't heard from him since then. It was time for me to tell my family. I wasn't ready to tell my family, meaning my like my sister, my dad, my mom, my aunt, everybody else out of the family. <laughs> I guess they call it the media family for the whole world. I wasn't ready to tell the world either, but I did tell my media family. The main reasons I didn't want to tell my parents was because I was ashamed. My apartment about to be evicted. My job is about to sell another company. The company was buying and there was no overtime. It was just so much me being sick, not eating. The, I needed to work overtime. If I didn't work the overtime, I didn't have enough money to pay the rent or pay the food. So thank goodness that my ex-husband who who worked well allowed me to bring the kids in to his house and you know they they will have some food for that. I mean I had food at the house, food wasn't a problem. But they will spend more time here at at his house so I can overtime if they had offering overtime. I wanna tell my parents. So but I ended up telling them and what's the bad call and I didn't expect them to understand to help me with anything I that is no longer their job is to help me that is my job to lift myself up and get over it be strong can never get over it don't ever tell someone to get over it because they will never get over it no sir at 13 weeks like I said I lost weight feeling very tired I didn't want to wake up, I didn't want to go to work, I just want to lay in my bed and cry every day. It's just the emotions, motivation. When I went to a doctor's appointment, I didn't mean to be mean, I just looked at her and I said, why do women want to get pregnant? I mean of that, because I was so sick. What I was going through was making me more sick, not being rude. She said you can determine if you want to terminate the baby. I said, no, that's not what I want. I want to be over with this. I don't want to be pregnant anymore. I want the baby to be out yet. <laughs> and I was only a few weeks old. 
I was only like what, 12, 13 weeks. When I told my parents, that's a whole new story for me to tell. Um, but I'm not gonna go into details right now because that's another video coming up on Fates to this coming so stay tuned for that I mean, me being 38 years old never thought that he would do this to me never thought that he would leave me i loved him enough that i thought he was the one who was staying by my side the one that well whatever happens he will stand by whether he wanted kids or he didn't whether i got alzheimer's or cancer or something he will stay there something I can trust, someone that I was going to grow old with, I believe that was him. Oh, but I was so, so wrong. Anyway, so Ivan, uh, my ex-husband, he suggested that we should move back into the house. He didn't know I was pregnant at the time. I told him no, that, you know, everything's fine. I can find another job and I can work somewhere else, whatever. But I said no. And he said, okay. However, job was sold out no overtime i have to pay my rent so i thought about it and i talked to him and i asked him you know if that offer still stands he said yes so within that month i was able to move and i didn't have to pay the rent well i did pay that rent for that month <laughs> but i didn't have to pay for the next month i moved out well i told him before i was you know before i moved in because he needed to know that hey when i at first when i say no when i told him this out for sustain this is what's going on and that this is happening and he goes well the baby will be safe you have your own room you can have the room with the baby no one will bother you and when you ready to be on your own again then you will but right now just stay here and take care of yourself take care of the baby take care of our two other kids <laughs> he didn't have to but he felt like he had to and i was so grateful it was just perfect timing too, you know, perfect time. I always trying to run away from him. He always find a way to help me. No matter how far I am from him, he was always there to help me out. He's a great father. He's a great friend, but not a great husband because he likes to be free. He doesn't like to be tied down with anybody. So me, I wanted to be married again. I want someone to call me, be proud to be his wife and I'd be proud to have a husband call him husband and it just didn't work out for him and me but you know it's for the best i'm in his house <laughs> and he has a girlfriend and he's happy with her and me you know i have no one but i have a lot of friends he said the baby is going to need a lot of love and a lot of care all right so that's it for this video i want to thank you all for watching my video and i hope this wasn't too long i don't know comment down below and tell me what your experience and what your thoughts is if you ever experienced something like this or went through something like this text me on instagram you can follow me there and send me messages here too anywhere you can and i'll be happy to answer some of your questions and some of your concerns also click the like button if you like this video give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down either way i won't mind i won't hate you i need you when you go out please wear your mask at all times because you could save someone else's life you could save your mom's life your dad's life your daughter's life your grandma's life your niece's life your life stay safe love y'all peace and i'll see you on my next video bye